before Bitcoin, I mean, I was, uh, so I, I had first heard about it and I'm not bullshitting, but I had first heard about it in 2009. I was in high school and my buddy, a 4chan lurker was trying to explain what mining was. Um, he wasn't really too far off. He was like the Bitcoins are in your computer and you have to find them. Um, but I didn't, you know, I was, I was a high schooler, so it didn't make any sense to me. I didn't understand what money was. I was like, you know, just living off of my parents' money and just didn't have a care in the world. Right. So then like fast forward to college and then buddies are using it to buy drugs on the dark web kind of interacted with again and don't really look into it um and uh then i graduated college in 2017 and uh on on a random like facebook post some dude just like absolutely like crazed all caps was talking about his bitcoin mining venture and, like how much money he was making and that's like well, I finally like looked into the market and was like, whoa. And I like got sucked into all the shit coins, tried to find the next Bitcoin. And then um, uh, eventually got a job at Bitcoin Magazine after I started writing a freelance. Uh, I studied English in college. So I was like basically just trying to find money uh, in any way I could writing about this thing because I was just fascinated with the idea of like centralized currency. Um, and then I uh, started writing a Bitcoin Magazine. Um, and uh, that's kind of when I started migrating away from uh all of the other stuff like i used to like be interested in ethereum and then it was just all bitcoin after that uh, particularly when i started talking to aaron van weirdham a lot and he started uh kind of like editing my articles and things like that um and uh yeah i went to like li a lightning conference in 2019 that was also like very pivotal moment and uh, just made me realize that i just wanted to write about bitcoin and so um stayed at bitcoin magazine until 2020 um, then that like flash recession happened, went freelance, started writing for Coindesk and Decrypt and some other places and also Forbes Crypto and went Coindesk uh, full time uh, in August last year and then left it recently to go do content at uh, Luxor Mining Pool. Um, uh, and it's a North American mining pool. We also have uh, hash rate data indexes and things like that. So. Um, Kind of like a lot in there, but kind of wanted to address everything in one.